we give you your daily dose of what's happening now. And recently, Visually, which is a phenomenal site to go to uh, in reference to infographs and things like that that everyone is really loving right now on the internet, they just launched. They were in a kind of a beta phase and kind of putting out there that they were going to be what they were going to be doing and all that kind of stuff. Well, recently they launched and it has been huge. And there's three really big things that the site is purposing itself to do. One, they want to become a search engine for web infographs. Number two, it is a massive silo of information that comes from government data, nonprofit data, and a bunch of other agencies. And number three, it is a web-based platform that allows you to create your very own infographs. All right. Well, business-wise, this is going to help you in two different ways. One, if you are an analytics junkie like Mr. Chase Thompson over here, you can do all kinds of infographs on what's happening in your business with your buyer's agents, seller's agents, with your blogs, your social media networks, whatever, and you can just plug them in left and right and come up with all kinds of different It produces different this for you and, yes, and it looks phenomenal. very easily. Mm -hmm. And it looks really, really professionally done mm -hmm. and you can use them in your business meetings and that sort of thing. Second up is going to be for you real estate agents who have clients that are on the fence about certain things or you just want to take things to a different level and provide something that your competitors aren't. You can definitely do some comparisons of school districts, parks, restaurants, um, anything that your client might be interested in. If they're, if they're tinkering between two neighborhoods, then you can definitely give them a mm -hmm. nice visual idea of what's going to work for them. And a lot of people like that nowadays. They really like something tangible and visual, and this is brightly colored and exciting, and it gives them something to look at, and it's definitely going to make you stand apart from the rest. And this is all without any sort of design knowledge or any sort of software experience or anything like that. You can just jump in, oh, dive even in. I can do this. So. Yeah, plug in some <laughs> figures. It looks, it looks phenomenal. It's a great website to go check it out. It's, gonna, it's called Visually, so be sure to go look at that. Next up, guys, is a really interesting story that came out of the UK. So apparently Google, who recently bought Beat That Quote, which was a mortgage comparison site, everyone thought that they would just kind of sweep under the rug, take the technology they had, and kind of close out the site. Well, as it turns out, what happens right now in the UK is if you were to uh, Google, you know, UK mortgage or UK mortgage comparisons or even mortgages, the number one thing that pops up at the top is this Google comparison tool that it looks like they're using some of that beat that quote technology to create. So here in the US, there is also a Google comparison. The difference is, is that they haven't changed it where it always comes up at the top like they have in the UK. But the question is, and the reason we're bringing this to you, is that we want to know what you think as far as, does that make you wonder what's going to happen in the future? If they do change it where the Google comparison here in the U.S. is coming to the top, they're kind of playing with the numbers. And how is that going to affect your personal website, um, your company's website, if you work for a particular broker or title company or insurance company? How if is they this going to affect you? Yeah, if they bring this to the insurance place or they bring it to the real estate space where they're this repository for all of this data and then all of a sudden for their very own search engine, their very own links pop at the top. And, and they're not announcing this. Right. It's not it's just, like it's they're going to let you know that they're going to do this. So I kind of see Bing becoming a little bit more popular. <laughs> Absolutely. Might have to remove Google from the toolbar. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a really interesting story. Definitely give us your feedback down below on it. And if you've checked out visually, if you've created any really neat infographs that you want to share with the community, be sure to leave those down in the comments section down below. We'll be sure to go check those out. If this is your first time here, please subscribe for free over on this side. And you can always check us out on Facebook or follow us on Twitter, and we will see you guys tomorrow. Bye, guys. I'm actually really excited about it visually. I'm hoping that we'll be able to... <laughs> Yo, you're going to make a little you make a little bit for him? Yeah. You're going to finish that? Finish Let's that up. Let's do a show tune. Finish for that him. up. You should make a commercial for him. You should do it like that frog, like all like, hello, my baby. But like to like the visually, that would yeah. be, that'd be a good bit. What would it sound like? like? We could do like, you could do like a Kesha bit where it's like, do, 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 I don't know. And then you put glitter all over your face. I don't know what Kesha.